What's up guys? Nifty the Ninja here. Today's dungeon is Wayrest Sewers. And we all know what that means. Lots and lots and lots of rats. Now, same group as normal. Me, Scottish Guy, Odyssey and Jiggles Josh. Same roles. I've changed my character up a little bit. I've switched to sword and shield. That's mainly because I've maxed out my two-handed sword skill, my bow, and my dual wield. So I'm just doing it uh, ranked up mainly. Uh, as for my skill bar, I have five assassination abilities and one siphon ability to give me a bit of health if I get a bit low. Uh, the reason I have all these assassination abilities is because it gives my character loads of passives in uh, critical strike and um, mainly critical strike Give you a quick show of my skills, quick speedy should look through. I'm switching out my ultimate from an assassination ability to fighter skilled ability because there's lots of ads, lots of loads of little enemies, and Dawnbreaker hits everyone in front of me, so it's a good AoE ultimate. And it charges quite quick as well, only costs 100 ultimate to use, and every time I kill an enemy, I tend to gain quite a lot anyway. These guys are just melting right now. The Scottish guy has uh, an ability called Meteor, a really powerful AoE spell as well. And me, Josh, and uh, Scottish tend to combine our ultimates. Like, me and Josh use Stormbreaker, and Odyssey uses Meteor. Nope, Scottish uses Meteor, sorry. And uh, basically, Scottish calls that down, and then as it hits, me and, uh, me and Josh hit with Stormbreaker, and it's like ridiculous damage. This boss is the is Slime Crow, Slime Crow. It's the first boss of Wayrest Dungeons. As you can see, not exactly a hard boss. I'm kind of cheating as well by standing on the step, but you know I have my bow class is the secondary, so it can. Uh, so I can do damage at range because being up close and personal all the time can be a bit of a problem although I move ridiculously fast anyway so I usually can get out of AoEs and my stamina is quite high got all my points in stamina or most of my points in stamina I think it's like 15 health 38 stamina Something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But first group of enemies, next group of enemies, going pretty well. Got a boss coming up, second boss coming up in a second. For the get rid of these ads. Using my AOE bow ability. 
Scorched Earth. I like that ability. Good. It's a good AoE ability. Good in dungeons. I got that Killer's Blade that um, overall it doesn't do that much damage. It's only like 1,000 1, damage, 1,500 damage. But it does an extra 300% damage against low health targets. So that. So. As you can see, I just use it then to finish off the enemy like there. If I was to use it against that Bowman now, he would instantly die, as he did. But that was from everyone else attacking. Getting rid of the ads before we fight the boss. That's always a must. Otherwise, you end up getting overwhelmed by enemies in the middle of a boss fight. Not a nice thing to happen. To the side. That move I just used there was called, I believe it, I, called, I morphed it to Merciless Resolve, but it starts off as Grim Folk. And what, what you do is you build up momentum for 20 seconds, and in those 20 seconds you gain my, um, if you increase Sorry, I messed that up. If you attack an enemy, hit enemies seven times, you can turn it into Assassin's Will. And I believe on my character it deals something like 6,600 damage, which is quite a lot of damage. Proper annihilated those ads. Now it's time for the boss. Investigator Garon. This guy's pretty straightforward. He's got to keep on top of his restless spirits when he summons them in, and stay out of his out of that move that knocks you flying backwards, as he just did to me. He likes to teleport this guy. As you see, he's summoned his restless souls now. And hitting me with his abilities. That's always good. Block him, fine. Oh, and then he hits me again, sends me flying backwards. Not good. Oh, he has that ability. Oh, it follows you around. An AoE that follows you around. Always annoying. I really wish he would stop teleporting. Oh, he summoned some more rest of souls as well. Kill them all pretty quick before we attack him again. Because they're undead as well, my Dawnbreaker deals an extra 60% more damage against them. Because it, against dead or an undead, it has an increased damage effect of. 60% against a dead or an undead. So, any any enemies that fight that are dead or an undead get wrecked by this ability. Oh, there's his AoE following me. He's nearly dead though, so we deal with it. And yeah, building pretty quick. Onward we go.
as you can see, we are annihilating like any enemies in our way. They're getting killed so quick. Although we're about to hit a bit of trouble. And I also cut some bits out of the dungeon because there was quite a lot of standing around. People had to go do stuff. All that jazz. So, you know, it will jump a little bit, but it's to stop you guys watching just me and everyone else standing around. So I thought I'd cut it down for you guys, so make it more watchable. just there's, there's a boss in the middle of this room we're just sort of going around the edge of the room getting rid of all the ads mainly because the boss summons ads himself and we don't want to fight all the ads and him and those ads as well so we just methodically wake up make our way around the uh, edge of the map and deal with all the stragglers as it were Now, as you can see, we just sort of got someone had to go do something, so we were just waiting around. But there were some more enemies to go. Names in the title. You do some damage to him and he will start summoning rat. Now, if you're not careful, these rats can ruin your entire day. my bow got AoE abilities and I don't need ultimate to use it. Stamina. And I've got quite a lot of stamina. Yeah, like so. We got yeah. Absolutely annihilated. So time for round two. Hopefully it's better this time. I'm just trying to keep the ads off Scottish. I'm like acting as his personal bodyguard right there. 
just because he's the squishiest out of all of us. Next in line is me. And then it's Odyssey and John. But much better run this time so far. And that's the Rat Whisperer done. As you can see, we have more luck this time around. Hurry up and uh, finish off these little ads. Leaving three bosses to go. I'm doing the pledge, the Undaunted pledge. And like today's pledge, obviously, where I sewers. It's a different dungeon every day. Oh, we have a bit of trouble with this guy as well. I think it's just mainly because where we fuck up. Um, we just slowly, slowly and methodically get cut down one by one. I probably shouldn't have switched out my uh, Dawnbreaker for this, for this fight, but who cares. This ability charges even faster than Dawnbreaker, so I get it more. Be good. You said I've already got one already. Use it. Hey, look, I got it again. It's pretty fast charging. Oh wow, got it just down already. First one down. I, man I don't know how I manage it, but I get out of there. Though I got no stamina, which is a bit of a problem. Next person down is Odyssey. I did try to revive Scottish, but too many ads aggroed on me. I would have just died. So I tried to cut him down. Still got no stamina. Me and Josh left. And Josh casually gets mashed right there. So now it's just me left. Boss has hardly been touched. One ad to go, two ads to go. I do well for a little while. But that that hurt. And I die. But what well, normally I'm the first one to die. So to be the last one to die is pretty good. So, yeah, now it's time for round two. Where we have... We've got rid of all the ads now. I oh, know there's still two left. But it was going to be a lot easier fight this time. Having a shield as a as a night blade is actually quite handy. It's like just gives you a bit of extra armor 
and physical resistance. Like, without the shield, my physical resistance is about 8,000. My physical and spell resistance, sorry, is about 8,000 or so. I put the shield on, and they both go up to over 10,000. So, that's pretty good. Just helps with damage mitigation. Health getting pretty low now. Everyone switched his power moves. And yeah, that's him done. Two bosses to go. The pretty straightforward fight. Poor mug crabs. What did they ever do to us, eh? This guy is just spamming his uh, luminous shard. That's quite a good ability, though, because it gives us 25% of our stamina back and recovers stamina and magicka over time. So it's a very handy ability to have on you. Let's fight the boss. Here we go. Yeah, try, try not to get caught in the air. We never the smartest move. As you can see, Odyssey's like keeping his attention, so it gives the three of us you know, free reign as it were, it just means that we don't have to worry about him chasing us. We can just, like Scottish can focus on healing us, I, and me and Josh can focus on attacking the shit out. As you can see, he's already down to about 70% health. Been fighting for about 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute, but that's pretty good. Josh randomly just gets one shot because he's not paying attention. He's down to about 25% health now. So didn't take us that long to get him down. Maybe another minute. Pretty good. And the only person who went down was Josh. Oh look, his, his shades there. Power move. Random skeevers lying around. Kill them all. Right, now that just leaves one boss to go. Quickly trade this ability, uh, ability? Weapon with Odyssey. The two-handed sword, pretty good. His alternate, uh, his alternate ability is two-handed. So he's sword and board and two-handed sword. I'm sword and board and bow. Scottish guy is double restoration staff. And Josh is bow and restoration. Uh, randomly waiting around there. As 
Someone, I, I had to do something, I think. And Odyssey probably fell asleep when, when we do these dungeons. It's quite late and he's normally up early. But hey, whatever. He wants to, he wants a dungeon. Quite happily dungeon with him. He's a pretty good tank. So yeah, quite a handy guy to have in the party. Same with Scottish. Scottish in, is almost essential. Then again, I, me and me, everyone in this group, we uh, you know we fight really well as a team. We tend to like do our own thing most of the time, but in dungeons we all you know band together and got some good teamwork going on. Every now and again we get messed up but that happens with everyone pretty sure even the best players on Elder Scrolls Online in the world have probably died god knows how many times couple more ads I think this is the last lot of ads before the boss maybe not I think we have a massive funnel in that tunnel ahead of me Take out the healers first, because obviously <clears throat> they uh, heal allies. Then I would say probably necromancers, because they summon like minions to help them out. But when you kill them, those minions die. So we tend to go healer, necromancer, bowman, mage, warrior, or just leave the tank to deal with the warriors. He can aggro all of them. Although, for some reason in dungeons, Josh seems to drag quite a lot of aggro. Or draw quite a lot of aggro, I should say. Yeah, now, I, I believe now we have one massive fight in the corridor. Like, mental. Oh, I, no, I, yeah, I nearly broke Elder Scrolls. Got stuck on their head. <laughs> Bad. This next boss is quite annoying. It makes you hallucinate seeing like loads of fiends. Quite a lot of them. Although we have enough AoEs to deal with it. Pretty good. At some point with my videos, I will eventually get to Cyrodiil and try and do some Cyrodiil stuff. I've done a bit before, but the problem I found with doing Cyrodiil is like if you're in a group, say three or four, and you come across a group of, you know, ten, you're pretty screwed. Or like I'll be running around with like me and one other person will run into like a group of six and then just get wiped off the face of the earth I accidentally aggroed some enemies in this uh, in this bit I didn't accidentally I kind of did it on purpose but still I thought they were following me
quickly activate Spinal Surge, giving me a 60% damage shield. Oh god, my health's really low. How did my health get so low? I must have been hit by about 5 or 6 enemies at once, or well, 3 or 4 at least. Not many left now. The uh, AoE. Actually, fell off into the water. Always fun. Skiva. What did he have? Quite a lot of them there. And there's a necromancer that could be summoning minions. Like, instantly gives us more enemies to deal with until we get rid of the necromancer. But I just keep spamming my AoE moves. As you can see, combined with other ability like teammate abilities, it absolutely melts the enemies. Plus, obviously, it's dead or undead, so I get a bit of a damage boost because I have passives in. Um, Fighters Guild, which gives you bonuses when fighting dead or undead. Oh, no, this is the massive uh, fight in the uh, in the corridor. Yeah, there was quite a few of them, but not as many as I thought there was. Right, now we've got a couple more ads. And then it's time for the final boss. Elaine. Pellingear. Summoning my shade. It's, I love those shades. They're so good. I don't really like. They don't do that much damage. But I just like looking. You know, having a Naruto feel to my character. I'm a huge Naruto fan. So. Yeah. You know, going around the edge, getting all the, all the ads. A couple more. To go.
after all that, we left two healers. We just annihilated everyone else, and then there's just two healers left on their own. Get Merc. Now it's time for the final boss. There will be no place for and, and here we go. Come the fiendish hallucinations that was mentioned earlier on in the video. Pretty easy to kill, but it could be a pain if, if we weren't as prepared. Here they come again. Quickly switch to my bow. Since they're all grouped together, that would be a perfect Dawnbreaker. Speak of Dawnbreaker, there's one. Look how much damage it did. It really melted them. More fiendish, fiendish hallucinations. Yeah, don't bother with them. They just die so quickly. So she, by the looks of it, she's almost dead. Everyone's pulling out their power move now. <laughs> look at her! Look at it! She just got annihilated. Got a shield, and that brings an end to the dungeon. Like, subscribe, comment if you want to hear more. Nifty out. Peace.